Okay, okay, now it's time to continue with uh, the dark and, and, the, and the white colors, the, the, the bright colors. Um, we got um, something here and uh, it's not very clear yet. I mean, it's a face, there's a shoulder, there's probably a hand here, we're not sure. Um, if you look at it objectively and the rest is in my head and has to be translated to the painting as we know it. Which um, we can go in separate directions from here. You can say we're gonna continue doing the lights or we can continue doing the blacks. Um, I'm gonna continue doing the blacks and the, the reds because I want more of the red background to come through this face. That's basically the way I feel about it right now. So I'm going to make sure that I have some red paint to work with. Um, if uh, the camera can follow me, because the sun is blocking pretty much quite a lot of weight, but it doesn't matter. Red. I like beautiful weather, but sometimes for filming it's not very nice. Red. And I have some blue that I use a little bit, and you can probably see it better if I do it like this. It's ultramarine. You can make some cold kind of colors with that, as I'm told. I'm gonna figure out if that's possible. What I can do with it? A little bit of the ultramarine. And my red makes it makes it beautiful, by the way. Really does make it beautiful. Okay, here we go again. I'm painting over the dark areas right now with this red because um, the dark areas are in some cases too dark, basically, and uh, and that's not what I want at this point. Maybe later on. Maybe later on. You never know. So the red has to come true in uh, shapes and sizes. This is it. We're gonna do it like this. I mean, it doesn't, it probably on camera, it doesn't even make a huge difference when, it, when you see this, but um, believe me, it's, uh, it's, it's really something that, uh, that makes a difference. It really does. Um, should not touch the camera, by the way. I did that, just, just did that, but shouldn't do it. A little bit of water in there. I mix it up like this, you know, for example. See? The, the, there's the blue here, there's the blue, there's the red, and I mix it up like that. It makes a little bit brownish red kind of color. Which is not much different from the background, I know, because I use the same red for the background, but it, it gives a nice feel to it. So, do it over the already existing red. The thing is, if you are um, uh, creating a background like I did in the beginning, I told you about this a week ago, a rough background, it means that if you paint over it, you're not, you, you cannot paint it like Rembrandt did, for example. It's not possible, I mean, for me it's not possible because I'm not um, that skilled, but um, uh, next to that, uh, it's not possible when you're so rough to paint something so precise. It, it would be, uh, it, it would look like, like shit, basically. It doesn't look like anything. So don't try to achieve that, you know, go with the flow and be rough if you are, want to be rough, you know. If you know what I mean, I mean, it's pretty hard to, to explain this, I can tell, but... Okay, um, see, what can I do with this? See, this is some red. Yeah, you, see, you know, painting is thinking, you know, and sometimes you are, you are just painting, but, uh, but, 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 but on the other hand you are thinking. Thinking about, okay, what, how is this going to turn out? Um, what do I need, what do I use to make this work the way I want to work, want it to work. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not sure. I'm figuring it out along the way if things are good. I mean, I need a dark color to line up with the white color of the end of the face. I'm not sure how dark that color that color has to be, so I'm gonna try this out for uh, for now. See what it does. Because, you know, it shapes the face and it gives the face the um, uh, absolute needed see. This is giving it some sort of a shape that I probably think, I think I need, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, eyes, eyes, make it all a bit stronger. 
the eyebrows area. I'm thinking about opening her mouth a bit. Um, it's always nice to see. So there's a possibility that I'm going to use that also. Oh, excuse me, I did something with white that I shouldn't do. Talking about white, it's probably a good idea to use some white here to make sure that I have this open mount. See, it's basically it's not that hard to create an open mount. See, you see already now you can see that 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 where you thought the under lip was is now a set of teeth. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. You know, it's not. You don't have to think about it that much. I mean, it works out almost always works out that way in a well done way. Nose was a bit too straightforward. Need to make it a little bigger. Mm, see what it does. Eyes. Why are the eyes? So the chin. Chin. This is the chin. See, these are the fingers coming out like this. The white area is the fingers. They're coming out like this. You cannot see the thumb yet because that would be uh, would be nice. Still, I didn't think about I didn't think about uh, hair, and I'm gonna do it right right now. I mean, it's pretty important that hair is gonna be there. So first, a little bit more lip here. Yeah. The background of the lips, you know, you see this is pretty wide and, and you probably wonder, well, you know, it's not that wide if you see a shade on the, on, the, on the upper lip and you see something on it, but that's all f for later on, you know, it's, to me it's almost, because you do it organically, it's, 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 it's almost like I'm thinking, painting, thinking, painting, painting while thinking, thinking while painting, and that goes on and on like that. Um, this is something, this is an area that I that I want to use the background more. I want to. This is probably something I'm going to work out more. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with with hair, but I probably will suggest hair very, very, very tiny in a very, very tiny part, in which your eye and your imagination has to make off that there's more hair than I just painted. Talking about that, let's do it. Yeah. I use a pretty white, pretty wet uh, brush. I wasn't very satisfied with that, but it's like that. Yes, and that's the way it is, baby. Yes. Okay. 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 Here we're gonna go with some blue. One there. Yes. Don't be afraid to paint also, you know, if you see beautiful parts slipping away, I mean, don't be afraid of that, they'll, they'll come back or they, or they will be replaced for something else. It's not something that's to worry about. You know, if you need to do this, you need to do this. It goes with the complete painting process, by the way. If you, you believe you need to paint, you need to paint. Yes. Okay, what I told you about is that I needed a color. I wanted a color like this, you know. For, I don't know. I decided not to do it because I think that the neck and the things that are working out here are pretty fine, pretty nice. Give enough suggestion to work on. This part is going to be background. This part is going to be background. This is what I'm going to aim at, and this, so that you get you get some sort of a directional phase and uh, directional position in this painting. That's. Uh, it's going to be nice and worked out. And the rest is up to your 
suggestions. It gives a pretty nice black, white, clear white, a pretty dark part to this uh, painting. That's what I'm achieving, like to achieve.